some instructions regarding the program. Please maintain silence. You are not supposed to clap throughout the program. Cell phones and handicaps are strictly prohibited inside the graduation hall. The ceremony would be starting shortly. We would appreciate if you could kindly switch off your mobile phones. Don't take selfies while the program is going on. The candidates are expected to maintain silence throughout the program. The candidates are also asked to occupy the seats. The candidates are asked to return the ropes in the rope section before they go for lunch. When you wear the cap, the tassel should be on the right side. After confirmation of the degree by the principal, you have to move it to the left side. Important instructions for the graduates to be followed while the program is going on. Rise up while the academic procession enters the auditorium and resume standing until the academic procession gets settled on the stage. I repeat this. Rise up while the academic procession enters the auditorium and resume standing until the academic procession gets settled on the stage. Take your seats after all the members of the academic procession get seated on the dais. When the chief guest administers the pledge, you are asked to stand, stretch your hands, and repeat the pledge administered by him. When the principal confers the degree, you are requested to stand and remain silent. After confirmation of the degree, the fresh graduates are asked to take up their seats. You're also asked to rise up again while the academic procession leaves the auditorium after confirmation of the degree.
maintain silence. May I request you to please stand while the dignitaries are entering the hall. A warm and pleasant happy morning one and all. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the ninth graduation ceremony. To begin with, let us stand for Tamil Thai Walt. Let me now invite our beloved and honorable chairman, Dr. T. Krishna Swami, to light the Kutu Vilaku. Thank you all. I take immense pleasure in requesting our distinguished guest, Dr. R.S. Rajesh, to declare the graduation ceremony open. I feel Delighted to declare open the ninth graduation day ceremony of Arunachala College of Engineering for Women. Thank you, sir. May I now request our most respected principal, Dr. S. Joseph Javhar, to welcome the gathering and present the college report.
Honorable Chairman, Distinguished Chief Guest, Respected Director, Dedicated HODs, Professors and Staff Members, Respected Parents, and Beloved Graduates, good morning to you all. It is my privilege and honor to welcome you all in the ninth graduation day celebration of our institution. First, I welcome our most honorable and distinguished chief guest, Dr. Rajesh, Dean of Science, Director, Center for Computing, MS University, Trinal Valley. For making his valuable presence, he is the man who achieved a lot and won several laurels in the field of education. Indeed, we are fortunate to have a such a knowledgeable personality in this gracious occasion. Your blessing and valuable speech to our graduate will be a boon for their career upliftment. With my respect and gratitude, I heartfully welcome you, sir. Now I request our chairman to welcome the chief guest with the bouquet. Leader is not a position or a title, it is action. Such a great leader is our Honorable Chairman, Dr. T. Krishnaswamy, Arnachala Group of Institution. He is the driving force for all the success of this institution. I would like to extend my hearty welcome to you, sir. I, I, I would like to accord my welcome to our Director, Engineer Darun Surat, for his support and advisory measure for the upliftment of our institution I heartfully welcome you for this graduation day function. This institution achieved this great milestone and this was not possible without the contribution of HODs of various departments, first year coordinator, professors, placement officer, physical director, all the teaching and non-teaching staff. I would like to welcome you all to this function. I would also like to welcome all the parents and guardians. Your support is tremendous for the success of this institution I extend my wholehearted welcome to you all. And finally, I'm very glad to welcome all the graduates of this institution. This institution is nothing without your achievement and success. I extend my delightful welcome you all to this graduation day celebration. Arnachala exhibits constant pursuit of excellence in both academic and non-academic activities. I take this opportunity to highlight some important milestones of Arnachala. Our institution is selected as the best woman engineering college by IST in New Delhi and bestowed with national award for best woman engineering college and the award was presented by AACT chairman. CTA selected our institution for digital Naksar program for the past two years. Only few engineering colleges in India are selected for this program. We are only among that. CTA selected 10 students through this program during this academic year 2022-23. In the rank list published by Anna University, our institution has acquired second place out of 443 engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. 2021 batch students bagged 22 Anna University rank, including three first rank. So far, we secured 186 rank, including five first rank. In the total number of rank, we are number one among the all the engineering colleges in Kanyama district and number one among all the women's institution in Tamil Nadu. During the last academic year, that means 2021-22, we started two new programs in our institution. One is MBA, Master of Business Administration, and other one is BTEC in Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. During this academic year, 22-23, we started a new program that is BTEC in Information Technology. Now our institution has BE, BTEC, ME, MBA and PhD program. We have tremendous achievement placement during the last academic year. During the last academic year, 134 students have been selected in tier one companies like CTS, ATAS, Accenture, Apton, Byju's, TCS, IBM, HN, or Block, Bipro, Infosys, and Infosys, ICL, and Gabe Gemini. More than 150 students are placed in tier two companies. In this academic year, that is 2022-23, CTS. TCS, Elastic Run, IBM, HP already conducted the campus drive and we are awaiting for the result. Embassies, Cape Gemini, Wipro, Tata LXC and Nissan Software are going to conduct the placement drive in the coming weeks. ME students of our institutions are placed in Arnachala Technology, which is the sister concerned of Arnachala College of Engineering for Women. 
various club like app design club, web design club, embedded club, environmental club, psychology club, innovation club, civilians club was started for the skill development of our students. Value added courses like IoT, Python programming, AutoCAD, web designing, animation and uh, multimedia are also started in our institution in collaboration with AACT New Delhi. 442 students of BE and 64 students of ME are enrolled in 9th batch and all the students are successfully completed their course. In this batch, 100% of BE and 100% of ME students are receiving their degrees in the 9th graduation day ceremony. During the last academic year, 8 of our faculty members completed PhD degree in Anna University and our staff members published 36 books under Arnachala publication and we are also filed 8 patents. For 2021 batch, only two zonal level meets are organized by Anna University Chennai. In that, we secured first place in chess competition. Dear graduate, the graduation is not the end of one journey, rather than it is the beginning of other. Start from where you are and invest more on your skill development. That will bring lot of returns in the future. To succeed in life, Align your education with your skill and goals. Focus on your goals, not on obstacle. If you want to success in life, believe yourself and do the thing consistently and not do the things occasionally. Do whatever contribution you can do for the society. Today you are a successful graduate, that is because of your parents, so respect and care your parents. My hearty congratulations for your academic achievement. Arunachala family, Wishing you for a successful and flourishing day ahead. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, sir. Now it's time to introduce our chief guest, Dr. R.S. Rajesh, Dean of Science Director, Center for Computing, MS University, Trinalveli. Dr. R.S. Rajesh completed his bachelor and master's degree in Madurai Kamraj University. He did his doctorate in uh, MS University. He has 31 years of experience in teaching and more than 25 years of research experience. He has guided more than 50 MPhil projects. He also has guided 25 PhD scholars. He also guided 200 PG projects. He has won the 2009 Academic Excellence Award of MS University for the outstanding contribution in teaching and research. He has conducted more than 50 workshops, seminars, and training programs. He served as a member of Syndicate, Senate, Academic Council of MS University. He has also published 120 articles in journals, 75 articles in conferences. He has also published 14 books. He involves himself in teaching, research guidance, and review, reviewing research articles and guiding projects. May I now welcome Dr. R.S. Rajesh to address the gathering. Respected Chairman of Arunachala Group of Institutes, Principal, the Director of Arunachala College of Engineering for Women, the Management Trustees, Learned Professors, Faculty Members of various Departments, Parents, and the young graduates who are flying on colors today. I'm really feel honored and pleasured to take part in this auspicious event of ninth graduation ceremony of this institute, the great institute. See, the institute is started somewhere in the late 2010, I think eight. And it has crossed almost uh, 15 years of uh, its service in the Kanyakumari district. And as per the uh, report, annual report submitted by the principal, I came to know that the college has 
consistently grown to this particular level. It has uh, reached a level where it stands number one in the country among the women's uh, engineering colleges. And also, it is one of the best college, well-known college in the Kanyakumari district. So starting an institute and bringing it to higher level of excellence is not a very simple task. There are several colleges run. You all know that the engineering counseling, how many applications are being sold, how many seats are there. So, so many colleges are struggling to get the minimum intake. This institute is capable of getting the full strength in counseling. So how come this happens? This is not happening in all the institutes. So that is where you need to understand the efforts put forth by the management. So to bring an institute from the beginning and in a quite quick succession, if you want to develop it and bringing it to the front line in a particular district like Kanyakumari district, despite there are competitions, there are, there are big groups who are running institutes here. Big missionaries are running institutes around the Kanyakumari district. There are big political parties or political shots they are running uh, their institutes around. But how come you show your presence in this competitive uh, segment? That is a great challenge. And you understand how much of energy how much of time, how much of resources, how much of money, infrastructure, dedication, all these things are shed in order to grow the institution to this particular level. And I congratulate the Arunachala College of Engineering, the chairman, the management, the principal, the dedicated teachers for achieving this progress in the, in the past, in a quick succession of 10 years or 15 years. So please be, give them a big hand. You have to appreciate in life. Yeah, you are all studying in this institute. Don't you feel happy about it? We, are, we have studied and we have got a degree from an institute which is excellent in this district. So that is a very great thing. Of course, for a student like you, maybe spending your time four years in the campus, you may not be able to aware of what people are talking about your institute outside. But an outsider like me could be able to see from outside and I can be able to appreciate the management and the efforts they put to bring the institute every day. You need to put your attention towards some development of the college. There are so many challenges you need to come across. You see that the COVID time is a tough time for all of us. We have been locked into the home for continuously about one and a half years. Nothing could be possible. You just think about the, the college, the main source of income comes from the fees that is paid by the students. How come the institute could be able to manage the, 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 the whole infrastructure and the investment during the tough times? So that is a big challenge. So it is all because of the dedication. I am not... Uh, uh, you know, pointing out a particular person, it is a teamwork. It, it, uh, it requires the dedicated uh, uh, focus of the chairman and the trustees, the principal, and all the faculty members to think about and bringing it on the front line. So, it doesn't mean that the institute has achieved everything in the uh, progress. There are areas, like me, because I have got more than 32 years of service and among the 32 years, I am working almost 30 years in the university as a PG level. But I know what are all the requirements uh, in the competitive world and the institute should possess. So that is very significant. The institute has significantly grown. But there are some areas where the institute is, because the principal, when I met him, he has, uh, 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 you, he has shared his concerns about uh, certain areas where they are working on. You need to still work on the placement. Top. 
results top and student amenities and infrastructure the institute is on top but there are other areas because the world is not uh, running within the kanyakumari district alone you need to compete with the global world you need to compete with psc tech you need to compete with cit there are great institutes who have worked for more than 40 years and developed a fame so we need to still work on certain areas like you know nba accreditation is there nir of ranking is there nac is there because slowly the central government is pulling or pushing everyone towards these uh, uh, performance assessment schemes so the uh, principal is dedicatedly working for uh, to strive to move towards those excellence so finally we need to put a uh, put the college in the international level so the fortune 25 institute i want to see arunachala college of engineering name in the 25 top 25 colleges in the world that may be the vision of the college so the college is steadily slowly steadily progressing and we can be able to see that every five years there are drastic developments so if this is the way that the college marches certainly in another five years or ten years they will grow to a level where they can be able to compete with other premier institute outside so the management is very dedicated to bring you all uh, with uh, uh, you you came with the hope that you are going to get a degree but when the time you go out you are not only going with a degree but also you are ge getting a placement uh, letter offer letter on your hand that's what your principal uh, is uh, saying now i would like to quote uh, thiruvalluvar skural that that exactly reflects uh, uh, today's event eendra poludum peruduvakkum tan maganai saandron enak ketta thai you you all know the meaning of this kural isn't it idhukku enna meaning tan maganai saandron enak ketta thai saandron na enna you are all saandrorgal because you have got a degree in your hand so your parents i see the two set of faces one set of faces are bright and the other set of faces are brightest so it is sitting at the back your parents unga parents oda mugam alla double avangala kondu setha annaki mugathula oru kavala irukum ponnu eppadi padikka pogudho ngra oru kavala varutham ella irundhuchu innaiku pathinga na everybody is happy because you are all fulfilling your dreams you are all you know getting the degree you are all setting the goal that you set when the time you step into the institute you have all settled in your life with a beautiful you know placement uh, letter okay so this is a day that you are on flying on colors certainly so this is a wonderful day i first of all i congratulate each and every graduate young graduate who has received the degree along with uh, you know a placement order or not whether it is uh, a, a place you are in the placement or you may be in the process so a big congratulations to all of you now the question is whether this uh, these two things getting a degree and placement whether it fulfills your life let us uh, i i make uh, uh, the discussion into certain philosophical way because i i used to think a lot on a on a lighter note i tell you don't take it very serious i used to think a lot and certain times i i think about certain things and all in a sudden i come up with uh, some kind of a you know conclusion and most of the times that my wife wife is sitting nearby me i used to open it up i used to say that see i have i think about uh, this thing and i found uh, something uh, very conclusive remarks would you like to hear it and most of the time she says that i am very busy i want to go to the kitchen and uh, look after my work then i look uh, uh, i i look into my daughter's face and she used to say that appa i am very busy attending the class it is not time for me to hear those things they all know that when i talk philosophy it will be boring so i don't have any options to share it in my home when i have some philosophical philosophical conclusions so i used to go to my department and started uh, discussing with my colleagues when i opened the discussion they immediately say rajesh i have a class in another 5 minutes i just wanted to go for it and i have no hope to share it to with share it with everyone so finally i go to the classroom where there will be young students uh, 60 of them are sitting 
and they, i used to say that yesterday night i was having a philosophical thinking i wanted to open it up then everybody you know they will be focused on my face they will be listening and they are concentrating and i will be very much satisfied because everyone is listening to me do you know why they are listening to me adu thala eluthu so the reason is i am again the the thinking i had it the philosophical thinking i am going to share it with all of you right idu oka thala eluthu because if it, if it is wrong then you have to blame your uh, chairman because he only invited me right anyhow it is a good thinking it, it is not whatever i uh, thought you no know, i just want to uh, make you people also think about that it provokes you. provoking thinking is uh, the duty of a teacher right so thinking is what is success in life your principal was uh, having some remark on success to be a successful in life what are all the things you need, you need to practice i i ask two questions what brings you happiness and what makes you feel that you are successful let us find out the answers for the, these two things what makes you happy just think about you you can take a piece of paper and write what are all the things which makes you so happy now for your five year old kid if you ask the baby what do you want or what is the happiness it may be a chocolate isn't it it may be a piece of chocolate or a small toy or whatever you give it the baby feels very happy so a, a, a student like you what makes you happy if a smartphone of new brand is given to your hand you will be very happy isn't it that makes you more happy than anything else in the world correct or leya yeah it is true so but how long that happiness will be sustained just think about this is a, is a small exercise to think and uh, you know realize so how long that happiness will prevail because after 2 years you see that oh this mobile phone oh id asasiya vaangnadu this is quite old this stuck up this touch you know not working battery backup is inadequate and the camera resolution is 48 megapixel only now the latest one my friend she has got 115 megapixel camera this is useless the same thing when the time you brought it you felt at most happy is become useless you want to exchange it just think about what is happiness you are still with the same mobile phone but you are not happy this is what is the reality of life so whether the happiness what we have at this point of time is sustained for long that's what you should think about so then what is happiness happiness is only a temporary phenomenon is it right the happiness is not vested with money it is in the materialistic world money is most uh, preferred entity which brings happiness to human being that's what we are all think about when there is money we can buy everything so it is not bringing you happiness because at this point of time money is very important i don't say that it is not important but it is important but you need to prioritize your happiness so what brings me more happiness what gives me satisfaction happiness is different from satisfaction when do you get satisfied you have large amount of food you are very hungry can you be able to eat everything you cannot unga vayar evlo pattuma avlo dana saapda mudiyum you cannot be able to eat everything so after eating there are so much of food is remaining what do you do with that you are happy because your stomach is full but you are not satisfied because lot of food is being wasted so what you do you distribute to people who are in need when you give the excess food available to all the other people you feel satisfied so there are two things students one is happiness you find out what brings you happiness then another one is when do you get satisfaction in life but happiness is purely a temporary phenomenon it will last for few days or few months or few years because 
the the happiness is a temporary thing i'll tell you at the age of 30 or 40 making money is bringing you happiness but at the age of 70 or 80 you just remember your grandfather or grandmother may be uh, in home you can think about the happiness is that if they could be able to successfully get up from their bed they walk to the bathroom and come back to the bed that is what is happiness for them but all the other thing whether it is bmw car or whatever you may whatever the money whatever the infrastructure you develop and all those things will not be going to be useful that won't give you satisfaction but that may be giving you the happiness right so those point i would like to tell you and another important thing i would like to share with you is that when you uh, come across an it professional they always telling you oh you just completed your uh, btech on after that you need to be uh, you know vigilant because you should uh, always develop your skill sharpen your skill do certification and quite often you need to cope up with, with cope up yourself with the changing technology that means you should be a lifelong learner that's what most of the it professionals are telling why they are telling did you do you think in a different dimension why these people are always making us to study learn uh, develop skill set and all that can you give a basic reason for that why these companies are telling you have to learn this platform that platform everything so the reason is that it is not going to be useful for you it is going to be useful for them right of course these things are very important because when you are getting outdated you cannot be recruited by a company but when you are doing that as a business always whenever a new field changes i used to immediately jump into a certificate program i used to develop the skill that may not be able to help you in your life okay because that will help the company to grow the microsoft bill gates will become ri more richer hp will become more richer and all the companies where you are working when your skill set is being updated and when you work more the company will become richer not you so you should be very sensible as well not getting exploited so what is required so today you come across the two words moonlighting and quite quitting how many of you know the meaning of these two words what is quite quitting and what is moonlighting moonlighting is a kind of a cheating process the lockdown period people have worked in two companies because in the lockdown it is work from home culture when you are working from home morning 10 to 2 o'clock you work in a particular company you logged off 3 o'clock you logged into the another laptop you are working for two companies recently this has happened have you read the news in the newspaper this is called moonlighting and quiet quitting is a very recent term which is widespread in china now in united states also quiet quitting is what is required for what is the requirement of work for the pay that is made to me enak enna pay pandranga adukana work na pannuven so this is a hashtag that most of the it professionals are using they, it's called quite quitting so aaru mani nera work na they work for 6 hours and immediate after 6 hours they logged logged out then they switch off their email, their mobile, official mobile, etc., laptop, etc. They won't do any extra work. So this is what is happening in the IT, uh, you know, um, uh, among the IT professional in the recent times. P companies are just thinking of how to come out of this uh, phobia. Okay, that is if you go to search, search the YouTube, just put quite quitting, lot of articles and lot of discussions and uh, bus, uh, uh, you know, videos are going on. Okay, so these are all the changes that is taking place in the, uh, you know, uh, sector of IT. And uh, as a final note, I would like to give you few important tips in your life. This because out of my 30 years of service, being a professional, what are all the things that you have to uh, take care of in your life? That is very important than anything else, apart from your skill set, apart from the salary that you get, apart from the company where you work, so irrespective of whatever it is. So the things you should follow, there are certain things I would like to, uh, you know, uh, 
make you to follow as a principles in life. So first thing is that, always have a smiling face. None of you are smiling. You are going to get a degree today. That's what I'm asking. Don't you feel happy? Your parents are more happier than you. So you feel happy internally, that will reflect on your face. Have a smiling face. So whenever you see people, have a smile. And inquire them, hi, how are you? So this is a very, very important habit for a professional. So first one is having a smiling face always. That will be, when you smile, you look more beautiful than now. So always have a smiling face. Okay, that is the first principle that you follow. In the Walakatala, we are not going to lose anything. Sirikama Rekadanala, have we lose anything? Or IT company salary is not going to be able to add anything. Nothing is there. This is not going to be expensive. When you want to smile, do you need to spend some money to smile? No. So we can smile. The second principle is say thanks to everyone. Nikki Kalila Vanda the Kapro, Yetana Verpoi, Wonga Principal, Illa Wonga teachers, your path, Ninga thanks to Ninga. Please raise your hands. Uthur Kuda and the one no render solid. Out of the one sixty five graduates, only two graduates have said thanks. Nal version Katu Kudu the teacher, or thanks chocolate Vanda, non Nick degree Wangaran. Or thanks by Soningana, how much happiness they feel. Other than imparting happiness, the college is uh, inspiring you, imparting your knowledge, inculcating values. That's what the principal says. Inculcating values, ethics. This is a value. So all hard work the teachers and head of the department has put to mold you to this particular level. Every tireless days they worked during your campus uh, interview days, your exam days. Don't you feel to say thanks to them first, teachers. Then, you have to say thanks to your parents. Thanks to you. Today morning, you are going to go to the DP. You have to go to the box head. I am, oh, I am flying in color. I got a degree. How many people are going to go to the DP? You have to go to the photo and add your profile. But how many of you have really said thanks to your parents? They only, they have undergone to get you as a graduate. These are simple principles. These are not the principles that Mahatma Gandhi said, NVA is not the policy like that. So it is not the policy like that. These are all very, very simple things, small things, but that makes people happy. When you say thanks to your teacher, they feel happy. So happiness is free of cost. You go to your parents and say, in the college, I have achieved, I am very happy now. Your parents will be very happy to hear that. But they will be so happy to hear that you are saying thanks to them. 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 That is what you may be thinking. But that is express that you are saying thanks to them. You are saying thanks to them. You are saying thanks to them. So that is the second thing. Saying thanks not only to parents. Whoever helped you, say a thank. Nang ke bandar tu lenden, yang aku tiwa cawang ke lenden, yang aku pu potong ke lenden, yang lalak nang thanks solt war. It is a culture. We should develop the culture. Mata orang la solt orang la, illa yang kerja, nih ke pakai dinge. You follow the culture. Say thanks. Adu orang simple thing, but it will make you a better person. Okay. So that is the second thing. And muna odu, don't be emotional. Emotion ni bandang, tuh ki potong ke beliya. Emotion ni dekik. Summa kat teri deh, bintik pono na, amma ayda solta kana, awang kita satu mula tu. Apa ayda solna, my daughters are doing the same thing. That's what I am share. Ida lama mandi engkau ni deh, tetana yang wait lenda baru deh dalam. So, ninggalan anda age lada riking. All are like you know, my younger daughter and elder daughter, ada wede kam dah age. So stressful lah rikah dinggal. Stress tu tuh ki beli apa lagi. Apo me mande, ninggal stress apa working boring ya. Ibu lalu nala ninggal pelajit cerdik dinggal. Ida lalu perih stress tu ada class end mande nala ki deadline ni internal ma internal exam nala kala lalu nongge teacher solir panga. Adu ur perih stress sila. You are going to find out the real stress in the company from tomorrow onwards. Most of you have already joined, isn't it? So you are already joined. You are started 
ரியலைசிங் த ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ன்னா என்னென்னு அவங்க புரிய வைப்பாங்க தே வில் பி கிவிங் யூ ஏ டெட் லைன் நோ மோர் கொஸ்டின் ஐ வாண்ட் த சாஃப்ட்வேர் டு பி ரெடி பை டுடே ஐ வாண்ட் த ப்ரோட்டோ டைப் டு பி ரெடி பை டுடே ஐ வாண்ட் த ரிசல்ட்ஸ் பை டுடே ஆஃப்டர்நூன் ஆர் நைட் so that is a real stress but how do you manage the stress that is very very important at your age because when you are feeling stress you know then all your personality will will be gone when you are under the clutches of stress first thing vandu unga mohathil irukra sirippu poidum stress ana adanal dhaan na eppovum sirikka sonna stress ah irundhal siringa it is a stress release laughing is a stress release nare padangal kuda paathirupinga ha 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 nu sirippaanga road la ninnu so that will release your stress adanal neenga road la poi ninnu sirikkadinga but you can smile with the other people yaar pakkathil irukkaangalo crack a joke and laugh smile so that is a better thing so stressful ah irukave irukkadinga ulagame idinju vilundhalum be you keep your cool okay so these are all i learned from my experience i am telling you so less stress and be happy so yaar kuda irundhalum be happy so always be happy especially with your family spending time with your family ninga ivula naala college la irundinga inda mobile phone irukku liya idukku vande you put a time table ivula naala unga class ku or time table potinga now you can fix a time table for your mobile phone so these are all the time only i use my mobile matha tayathula vande i won't use the mobile smartphone use pannadinga game play pannavo chat o if you want to chat with your friends go to your friend meet them and spend time why do you do group chat group call conference idala vena idala vande unga veetla irukravanga dhaan suffer aagranga nerathukku saapida maatinga you play group game you you play group uh, call and you continuously avanga dosai suttu mesa mela vechirupanga neenga saapida maatinga so these are all the things you need to take care of or a discipline or self discipline is always required for you to make your personality better idella ipo ipove neenga panna da adutha 10 varshathukana plan idu inda culture ungalkulla varanum you should develop a culture that is very important and adutathu idu romba mukkiyamana onnu innikku irukkira younger generation la kedaiyave kedaiyadu respecting the elders and respecting others idu enga generation kitta kettinga na ipo krishna sami sir nanu nama principal sir kitta la ketta enga appa amma kitta naanga eppadi irundhom ngiradhu theriyum innikku irukkira pasanga vandha appa amma kitta eppadi unga parents kitta kelunga how to respect the parents ngiradhu avangalukku theriyum innikku neenga vandhu adha ungala kitta pesinaala enna solreenga that generation gap don't talk such rubbish things to us solreengala illaya it is not that way அது ஒரு நம்ம கலாச்சார சீரழிவுன்னு சொல்லுவேன் உங்கள் பேரண்ட்ஸை மதிக்கிறதுக்கு கற்றுக்குங்க யுவர் பேரண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் யுவர் காட் ஃபாதர்ஸ் கடவுள் வந்து கடைசி தான் பட்டு பேரண்ட்ஸ் வந்து மாதா பிதா ஃபஸ்ட்டு ரெண்டு ஸ்தானத்தில் இருக்காங்க அவங்களுக்கு எவ்வளவு ரெஸ்பெக்ட் அவங்க முகத்தில் தான் சொன்ன அவங்ககிட்ட பேசுங்க அவங்க த அவங்க ஏதாவது உங்கள் உங்களுக்கு பிடிக்காத விஷயத்த சொன்னாலும் அவங்கள திட்டாதீங்க அவங்கக்கிட்ட அம்மா இப்படி சொல்லாத இப்படி சொல் அப்பா இப்படி சொல்லாதீங்க இப்படி ஏன்னா அவங்க தானே உங்களை இந்த அளவுக்கு ஆளாத்து வளர்த்து கொண்டு வந்தது அது மாதிரி எல்டர்ஸ் பாட்டியோ தாத்தாவோ சொன்னால் அவங்கள எடுத்தறிஞ்சு பேசாதீங்க இதெல்லாமே வந்து சி திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் மேக்கிங் யூ எ வெரி குட் ப்ரொஃபஷனல் நாளைக்கு உங்கள் பிள்ளைங்க வந்து உங்களை மதிக்கணும்னு நீங்கள் நினச்சிங்க அப்படின்னா இதை நம்ம பண்ணி தான் ஆகணும் ஓகேவா ஸோ ரெஸ்பெக்டிங் அதர்ஸ் அப்புறம் behaving in a professional way adu ungalku katu kudukka vendiyadhu la the college will teach you already taught you the values moral values so eppadi professional ah irukiradhu enga nama work pannalo you have to deal things in a professional way don't go unethical uh, way of achieving things bribing okay then enakku vendi ungalku pandrathu venda pidikada ungalku harm pandrathu so those kind of things don't do it in your life okay and no or mukkiyamana vishayam ninga ellarum vande you should take care of your health idu poduva yaaru solla matanga so health is the wealth you should take care of your health ninga enga work pannalo na workaholic people paathirukken naan they work for 24 into 7 saapida matanga or in the in the it culture la vande when the work from home comes my daughter used to take all the three times the food on the computer in front of the computer my wife used to serve the food she used to and morning saapta the and bakka irukum then on top of that the next next plate and evening paatha 4 5 plate um 5 6 cup um anga irukum 
because she is uh, locking the room after taking because naanga inga pesuradhu disturbance ah irukum abindu so that is not a, a healthy practice you come to the dining table you or you come to your parents when you are taking food ena appo da theriyum unga amma evlo anba ungalku samachi kondu vandirukanga ngiradhu theriyum this is a very very important one appo da vandu adu unga odambula serum you will feel healthy adhe mari exercises you do regular exercises keep you fit always huh? at the age of 56 see me how healthy i am is it not unga parents ella kuda enak age kuda irukum but uh, you feel healthy na you need exercises then you need good thoughts you feel happiness inda na sonna practice ella neenga follow panninga na you will always be young always feel young and always look younger also so that is very important and uh, finally Uh, participating in social development india is a country which is emerging as a greater nation in the recent time india oda gdp pathinga appadina 1700 la vandu 25% of the world's gdp was supported by indian economy now indian economy's contribution is less than 4% 25 years back recently it has grown up to 5 to 6% and the speculation says that in another 10 to 15 years india's dgp uh, gdp will grow beyond 10 percentage of the global gdp so india is going to play a vital role and in 2050 whatever government rules india india is going to be on the top world's economy top two la irukka podungiradhu it is a speculation why it is not because of some politician it is because of the youth ella ungalala dhaan because these uh, young uh, people between the age group of uh, Uh, 20 to 25 age group pathinga na world la nikki highest number of uh, uh, people in the age group of 20 to 25 vandu india la da irukanga endha country la highest number of 25 to 30 range la irukra uh, children irukangalo illa youth irukangalo and the country oda economy vandu tenfold a grow aagungiradhu natural philosophy so because of that india in another 10 years india is going to march very fast than any other economy idhe situation china la 15 years ku munnadi irundichu india is now undergoing the phase china ipo keela vara aarambichiruchu india ipo rocket vegathila poga aarambichiruchu neenga ellarume vandu you are going to be in the central place in the growing economy which is fastest in the world adukku nama ellarum we have to thank to god that we have born in india so with this few uh, uh, you know observations i once again congratulate all the uh, award i mean the degree holders graduates who are going to receive the degree after a short while and uh, i wish each and every one of you having good uh, uh, career and uh, uh, good health and all the uh, you know uh, happiness which you are as i told already the list of prioritized happiness list shall be fulfilled and you will have a long and happy life forever thank you very much uh, the management especially the chairman and the principal and the management for giving me this wonderful opportunity i i thank uh, the entire team of uh, convocation uh, function team and the management once again for this great opportunity thank you very much thank you sir for enlightening us with your speech It's time to honor our rank holder. May I request our chairman to give the rank certificate. Subiksha R of EZ Department, 21st rank. Thank you, sir. May I now request our chief guest to distribute the degree diplomas to the graduates. Candidates receiving the degree, please come forward as your name is called. Sir, I present before you the following 159 candidates to receive the degree diplomas who are duly qualified by the examinations conducted by the Anna University Chennai. for the bachelor degree in electronics and communication engineering abhirami g habisha k uh, 
अमित शाह के अमित शाह एनवी अमित शाह यस अमित शाह यस अमित शाह प्रेम अमित्रा भी हैड्रीन अमित्रा 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 हैड्रीन सिमिरना Arlene Kishan Agalya R Ajita L Ajita T Agisha V अक्षरा भी अक्षय वानंटी अल्फिया फातिमा यम Alisha K. Anisha Mol P. K. Anju I. Anuja J. Anushya R. Aarti C. Harul Mali S. Asha K. S. Ashiga R. A. Ashwini A. Benisha Y. Benisha V. Bindu C. V. Diksha M. Deepthi G.C. Dharani R. Dashniya T. Divya R.S. Divya Darshni K. Divya R. Fatima Ajmi. Femi Kings K.
Gayatri or Kaushiya Devi Yam Aishwarya J Aishwarya SK Jagadishwari CK Jalva Nasreen Jalva Nasreen Jaya Bharati R Jalva Nasreen Jaya Bharati R Jay Sri Jay Jeeva Yel Jeffrisha Jay Jalshia Jayam Jamila Jayel Jennifer Jiji Jenny R.T. Jenisha K. Jenisha S. Jenisha S. Jenisha V. Jerinsha Bos Yam Jesu Infanda Tino E Jil Tiam Jocelyn Annie Rion Kirti K Latiha L Lubida T.A. Mageshwari A.H. Mahila B. Mangal Anju A. Mary Monica P. Madhimida S. Mega Murti MB Mini DL Mini Jayam Nandini A. Neetu S. Nikita K.
निशिताजी नित्यश्री निशिता जी नित्यश्री एम निविदा एम निविजा एम पवित्र आर प्रभा ये प्रदीष्टा यस सर प्रदीपा कुमारी यस प्रदीष्टा यम प्रिया ये प्रिया के प्रिय दर्शनी यम राजलक्ष्मी यम राजलक्ष्मी एम ये रम्या यम रम्या भी रतिबा आरस Revedi S.B. Rofi Ayam Shagai Alisha, yes. Sajidha K. Sakti Yesai. संध्या भी संगीता आर संध्या सीएम सारमधी एस 
செல்வ செல்வ ஹேமில்டா பி ஷாலினி பி ஷாலினி எல் ஷாந்தினி பி ஷீபா எம் ஷெர்லின் பெனிஃபா எஸ்டி ஷெர்லிஷா டபிள்யூஎஸ் சிவபார்வதி எஸ் சிவரஞ்சினி எஸ் சோனா எஸ் செல்வன் சௌமியா ஏ Saumiya B.S. Saumiya R.V. Srija M.R. Srinidhi S. Srinithya S. Subhiksha R.P. Shigila B. Surudhi M.S. Shushma R. Shushmida T. Dharani M.S. திவ்யா எஸ் வைஷ்ணவி எம்கே வர்ஷா ஆர்ஜே வாசுகி எம் வெனிஷா சி விஜயலட்சுமி டி யசோதா ஜெஹெச் சுஷ்மிதா ஆர் திவ்யா டி அனுமோல் எம்எஸ் மினாஸ் எஸ் நபிலா எம் நித்யா பி ஷகாய மோனிஷா ஏ சஜினி பி சக்தி ஆர் ஷாரா ஹைச் வீணா லக்ஷ்மி எஸ் மஜினி ஆர் Shalini L. Archana Devi A. Thank 
हेरली जनीषा जी पवित्र एस शर्मिना बादर एस नित्या एम एस सुबलक्ष्मी एन अनस्वरा एंटी इवांजलिन लिथियल डी मोनिका ये श्री सबना देवी जय अभिलाषा जय एस रम्या आरजे हैडलीन मिन्सी पीपी कमलप्रिया के आरती एन आर I wish these graduates all the best. Thank you. Thank you. May call upon our chief guest to administer the pledge. The candidates are asked to stand, stretch their hands, and repeat the pledge. Please follow me the, for the pledge. We, the graduates of the Arnachala College of Engineering for Women, Manavalai, solemnly pledge that it shall be our endeavor for ever to be honest in thought, word and deed, in the discharge of our duties, and in, our and in our profession, we shall uphold, shall uphold the, dignity the dignity and integrity of, a, of our profession and unity, profession and, unity and, honor and honor of our country. We shall uphold, we shall uphold and, advance and advance the social order, the social order and the well-being well of our fellow members, our fellow members and shall devote all our, all our energy to promote the, to promote the secularism, secularism of our country. Thank you. May I call upon our principal to confer the degree. I, the principal of Arnachala College of Engineering for Women, solemnly declare the conferment of degree diplomas on behalf of Anna University Chennai in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering for which you have been declared qualified and in token thereof you have been presented with these degree diplomas and I authorize to wear the rope officially as a sign of your degrees. 
Thank you, sir. May I now request our chairman to felicitate our chief guest with a memento. Thank you, sir. Now I request Dr. E. P. Kannan, HOD, Department of ECE, to propose the vote of thanks. See, good afternoon to everybody. I am delighted and honored in proposing vote of thanks on 9th College Day celebrations of Arnachala College of Engineering for Women. Firstly, I thank the Almighty God to the grand success of this Convocation Day celebration of Arnachala College of Engineering for Women. Now I express my sincere gratitude to our Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. R.S. Rajesh, Director, Center for Commuting, Manon Manu Sindarnar University, Trinalveli, for his kind acceptance to the grace this function as a Chief Guest and deliver the Graduation Day address. On behalf of Arnachala College of Engineering for Women, I thank you, sir. <laughs> Next, I express my sincere thank to Honorable Chairman of Arnachala Group of Institution, Dr. T. Krishna Swami, who has been the great pillar of support to all of us. On behalf of Arnachala College of Engineering for Women, I thank you, sir. Next, my hearty thanks to our respected principal, Dr. S. Joseph Jawahar, for the perfect support and guidance for successfully organizing and executing the graduation day celebration to our college. On behalf of Arnachala College of Engineering for Women, I thank you, sir. <laughs> I also express sincere thanks to Engineer Darun Surat, Director, Arnachala Group of Institution, for helping us to whenever and wherever possible. I thank you, sir. It gave me pleasure in thanking all the HODs of various departments, professors, first year coordinator, placement offices, teaching and non-teaching staff members for full involvement they have shown in willingness and have expressed to take and completion of tasks beyond their comfort zone. I also express my thanks to all the parents who have supported us in vibrant colors to reach our boundaries beyond the sky. I also thank the press and media people for the wonderful coverage of graduation day celebration. Not but the least, hearty thanks to all our dear graduates who made your parents, family, friends, and your college very proud. All of your hard work have been paid off today. I wish keep us following you in everything. Thank you. I conclude my speech. Once again, thank you all who are present here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I now request our chief guest to declare the convocation closed. I dissolve the ninth graduation day ceremony of Arnachala College of Engineering for Women. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I request all of you to stand for the national anthem. I also request the graduates to keep standing after the national anthem as the procession leaves the hall.
जय हे जय 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 हे பெற்றோர்கள் அனைவரும் உட்கார்ப்படி தாழ்மையுடன் கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறோம் Congratulations to the graduates. We look forward to hearing about your personal and professional achievements. Congratulations and best, of, uh, best wishes from all of us here at Arunachala. Thank you and good luck. All are cordially invited for the lunch. It is arranged in the ground floor of this block. There will be a group photo session that is uh, section wise after the ceremony here in this stage. Uh, then individual photo session is also arranged in this floor in the chemistry lab. Photos will be sent to you in person and uh, it will be taken at free of cost. You can also take uh, family photos. After taking photos, uh, you can go for lunch. Thank you. That's it.